Okay. I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. And today, we are the Goon Squad, and we're coming to town. The what? Goon Squad. Goon Squad? Why are we the Goon Squad? Beep, beep. Fashion by David Bowie. Oh, what? <laughs> is that a lyric in the song? Yeah. He talks about the Goon Squad? Yeah. Beep, beep. I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. It's hard to come up with these every week. I'm sorry. <laughs> Beep beep, Richie. Okay. What are you talking about now? That's a reference to it. Oh. Oh. Well, we're off to this magical start. <laughs> so today we've got two big beers. Large beers, manly beers. If we forget some vowels by the end of this, this is why. Forget this. So on the one hand, you've got... Coupe de Grisou, or Coup de Grisou. I don't know, a hit de Grisou. I don't know what Grisou is. But there's a miner holding his head and exploding rocks in the background. So, I don't know, I think it might be dynamite blast? Gravel? Gravel? Hit? I, I, I don't know. Anyway, it's called Coup de Grisou, and there's a... Um, a miner who's really agitated about exploding rocks. Well, he's like right next to it. Yeah, look, look. Agitated miner. That's how you get tinnitus. Or, mm -hmm. or tinnitus if you live in the UK. What the? Uh, that's the, true. The UK. We look forward anyway. to your letters. <laughs> this is ALO Saracen APC. Oh, it, oh, it's a spicy buckwheat ale. Hmm. Buckwheat. Uh, it's 5% alcohol, and beer on Lees. I don't know what the hell that means. Uh, that means it's from the Lees area of beer. <laughs> <laughs> the Lees area of beer. Oh, yeah, that magical place. Yep. Where the hobbits frolic with their little hairy feet. Okay, there's uh, information on this label. Uh, as soon as you savor the first sip of the, this coup de grisou, a Belgian, oh, Belgium type spicy beer. I like Belgian beer. Okay, I'm interested. Uh, your taste buds will, what is it? Explode. Explode. <laughs> Explode, like the miner in the rocks. Explode with the combined... Effect of the buckwheat and cori coriander. Coriander. Used in the brewing process. Try it with some fine cheese. Ooh la la. Merci de bleu. Okay. We gotta prove ourselves to be <laughs> just just globe trying. Okay, just 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 to set the record straight, we do know what the uh, the beer version of the sommelier is called. It's called the Cicerone, and we're not that. Here's a snake fighting a, a lion snake dragon. It's a uh, La Morsure, which is a compulsive strong ale. What makes a strong ale compulsive? I don't know. You'd have to go back to his childhood. So tell me about the snake you had as a child. <laughs> oh, it's all in French. That's good. Uh, ingredients. That's actually close. <laughs> le bonheur est dans le, le whatever. Lemertum. Lemertum. Jules Renard. Okay. Well, uh, we have to, we'll have to uh, confess. We don't know who Jules Renard is. Nope. We don't know what any of this means. Uh, this did win a 2014 World Beer Awards. Whoa. Um, and it comes from La True du Diable, which I believe we've had beer from them before. Yeah, the Devil's Fool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's supposed to be the Devil's Cave or something like that. The not, Devil's Hole. Not anymore. Nope, it's the Devil's Hole. All right, so and this is from I don't know what the uh, Belgium. Yeah, but it isn't. Oh, it's uh, Brasser uh, Brasser's R J. All right, RJ. If if you're if you're watching, yeah, we forgot to, to mention you. 
Okay, so you want to go with the uh, exploding rocks and uh, miners with tinnitus, or you want to go with the mythical creatures fighting each other? Uh, I think we should start with the with the buckwheat. The buckwheat. But before we start with that, oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Palate cleanser time. Palate cleanser. Oh, this is. We're, we're drinking the the Revolution tequila again, uh, the Aneo, and that's because it's the first thing that he saw. Uh, before rushing to put it in the freezer. Yeah, it is quite warm today, so... Yeah, well, it's warm outside, but this is a rather chilled tequila. It's also warm inside. Let's not let's not muddy those waters. Yeah, it's a little warm inside. Okay, so... Ah. Okay. In for a penny, in for a prosthetic limb. It actually tasted only half cold. That'll strip you of your paint. Yep, yep, yep. I, if you want a Mexican hairless, you know, take a take a regular dog and beat it that. So I don't have to keep going for for uh, my my waxing appointment. I can just drink that. <laughs> just drink that on a daily basis. And then it doesn't matter how hairy you are. You won't oh, care. I'm so excited that we're doing this. Oh, it's got. A... Oh, come on! No, 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 no. For God's sake, man. Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> this is why videos are edited. Oh my God. It's so in there. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, man. That was worth the wait. <laughs> if it's in consolation, I am more disappointed in myself than you ever could be. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's a pretty good color. I like the look of this beer. Yeah. That's... Yeah, that's, that is not bad. This is supposed to be coriander and buckwheat? Oh, God. I think the last time we had a coriander beer, it was really, like, really... coriander -y? Yeah. You no, know, uh, buckwheat and coriander, they uh, got married and had a baby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What'd they call it? <laughs> they called it uh, buckyander. I'm Bucky Ender. <laughs> and you're my parents, Buckwheat and Coriander. Can I sign your DVD? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was a rapper. No, no. Or an like, opera singer. Yeah. Tomato potato. He, he's not a singer. He just really likes them. <laughs> he signed it to, to Bucky Ender. <laughs> this is to our friend, Bucky Ender. Bucky Ender, if you're out there, this is for you. Okay, it smells like a beer I've had before. It just smells like foam so far. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know what happened. Yeah, maybe like. that's why it keeps smelling. It keeps smelling foam. <laughs> oh, no. Got some weird taste. It starts out very, oh, yes. And then it makes a detour to oh no time. Oh yeah. Mm. Well, I got right again. That, that's where 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 all the uh, that's where Motown put all their singers that that were off key. <laughs> You're banished to oh no town. You smoke your option. You're okay. You can go to Motown. Really unpleasant aftertaste. I don't mind it. Oddly enough. Yeah, it's not as bad as if I just like no, like like, like if I just suckled on coriander for a bit. It this is better. Hey, she's a married woman. Hey, the buckwheat man, you want buckwheat to kick your ass? I don't think so. I'm sorry, I shouldn't for uh, I, I, coriander. I shouldn't I shouldn't do this. You have a child. I don't want I, I don't want I don't want buckwheat to come from a broken home. I don't mind it. Okay, yeah. I, I think it's an interesting. Uh, I think well. 
not that I'm super familiar with buckwheat, but it's an interesting grain to use. Yeah. And I've tasted this before, so I have tasted uh, beers with a hint of coriander. Well, you, had, you haven't had this. No, no, no. But I've had other beers that have had hints of coriander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's similar. It, it's... Remind me of other beers I've had before. I can't name them because obviously I drink too much beer. But the, the more I drink this, the more it's really like it's not bad. <laughs> I think you could say that about pretty much any alcoholic beverage. <laughs> Touche. I like it. And there's also a, a little hint of citrus. It's, there. it's definitely a beer you want to get drunk on. Because I feel like, and, and, and this is not me slamming it. Like, this is definitely a beer that gets better over time as you drink it. So you're saying you want to get drunk on this? Yeah. Okay. Or have it after you're, after you're drunk. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that that guy who's got tinnitus doesn't Ooh. know what he's missing. What? Yeah, sound asleep? See, that's oh. the... That's... By the way, Bella cleanser time! Bella cleanser! That's more of, of what I was going for. <laughs> Actually, I was going for a lot of things, and then, you know, things took a turn. As they often do on these videos. Wow, this is kind of cool. Are you just now noticing that there's a glass top? Kind of, yeah. No, it just... We've had this for years. I know, but it kind of looks like a like a crystal ball. Ooh. Yeah, because it's not that I believe in any of this stuff. That shit is nonsense. But still, it's kind of cool. It looks like Ooh. a crystal ball because it's a ball of glass. I stand corrected. All balls of glass are crystal balls. No, no, no. They got me made of crystal. This is not made of crystal, I'm pretty sure. You think anyone's ever had, like... An actual crystal ball? Yeah. Yeah, but they very gingerly got on a horse. <laughs> You're not jumping on that horse very quickly if you got crystal balls. Trust me. I'm, I'm just picturing them like, like uh, 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 you know, after like a big night of tacos, having to rush to the bathroom, and you just hear this massive clink of glass on porcelain. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt. Oh, that is, as uh, the Mexicans say, horrible. <laughs> Okay. That'll cleanse your time. Oh. <laughs> Why is the second one always so bad? Oh. Even with the good tequila, it makes you do the shivers and stuff. No, no, no. Oh. Blah. Next up, from the Devil's Hole, <laughs> we got La Morsure. La Morsure. If you don't know what that means... Please let us know. I'm ass I assume that's something to do with snakes and tigers and snake dragons. What's a, what, what, what's a, what's a, the snake dragon thing in mythology? Uh, snake dragon? Oh, yeah. The infamous snake dragon. Well, I mean, snake dragons are usually Chinese, right? Hey, there's beer left. What the hell are we doing here? Oh, I can't do it now. Yeah. I just, I just cleanse my palate. We've moved That's on. That's like crossing the streams and Ghostbusters. What are you doing? Disaster can happen. My God, man. Okay. No beer, big homer, something, something. Oh, crazy. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Favorite bottle opener ever. I cannot believe that still works. We got that ages ago. I know. I can't believe I can't believe it still works, but it does. Does it all for a special occasion? Okay. Okay. It's, uh, it, it looks like a beer. It's very golden, very beerish, beer esque, beer like, beer proximate. Dun 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 dun. Is this a griffin? No. No. Oh, man, it's going to... It will haunt me in my dreams. I mean, I guess it's it's close to like a... Like a... A chimera? A chimera... Uh, more like a... Like a like a quadal type of thing. A, chimer a chimera? Sure, it 
It's a it's a kimura. A kimichuri? A chimichuro? Chimichanga? I don't know what this is. I mean, we can keep on going offending somebody. It's a compulsive strong ale. I don't know what the... The power of Christ compels me to drink the beer. Whoa. That's from The Exorcist, okay? So don't get all offended. Somebody else used it before me. I might be offended a little bit. Whoa, that's strong. Ooh, it smells... Ooh, I'm all... It doesn't yeah. smell compelling. Ah, <laughs> my head. Good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I like it, man. It's got some bite to it. I take it you disagree. You know when you accidentally pour like a can of SpaghettiOs into your drink? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I think you do the La Morsure. A disservice, sir. It's not great. I'm man. not tasting spaghettios. That's what I'm saying. No, it's spaghettio free zone. Oh, I apologize for flashing gang signs. Don't kill me. Yeah. Uh, big, big apologies to the spaghettio uh, gang. They're the worst. That's why I don't like this beer. <laughs> You don't like it, but you don't want to offend the spaghetti again. Yeah, man. I'm I'm a narc. <laughs> They'll leave uncooked pasta in your bed. Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> Considering that this is spicy buckwheat ale, this tastes spicier than that. Yeah, but this is like 6.5 something, something, something. 6.5, and that's only what? Five? Uh, yeah. Oh, see? The beer for Bibi Lalaz, the beer for real people. Now you're coming after Coup de Grisou. <laughs> Grisou. Well, gra 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 I don't know. It didn't blow up the rocks the way I was hoping. No. This, however, will... Um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what a compulsive strong ale means. But, uh, like, I wouldn't drink this compulsively. But I like it. No, the, the spirit maker are a really shitty alcoholic. Like, as opposed to the good kind. Yeah, you might need to cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> You're a the alcoholic. You hardly drink at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like it. You don't, right? Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, oh, I guess we couldn't read all the shit that's going on here. I certainly. Okay. Uh, oh wait, water, malted barley. Hops yeast. See, it's got oh, all... Oh, well, thank you for that detailed uh, description of your beer. It's got all the things that I do like, but something in the process... Yeah, all the stuff that makes up a fucking beer. They don't go into detail. Well, they do. It's just all in... No, I don't know what the hell this says. Like, what the hell is gum to pin? Oh, oh, that's why I don't like it. Oh, it's inspired by American IPAs. That's why he doesn't like it, and I don't mind it. Yeah, but you don't mind much. Oh, I'm a cheap date. The <laughs> uh, more sir, present in agria. It says agreeable. Uh, hint, oh, uh, hint of caramel. Yeah, yeah, hint of caramel. Exotic. Co crumbs. Covered uh, couvert de fruits. So, oh, that does have a fruity exotic thing. It's, it's got exotic gum. Oh, and well, no, I think it does. It, it, it pine. Uh, Taste of pine. Pine resin. I mean, you know what? I'm kind of curious about the pine resin thing. Uh, La Bouche proposes and Bell. Okay, the mouth proposes a nice equilibrium. Entree, a malt, a sweet sucre malt. Oh, you know, you couldn't uh, print up a label that was bilingual, really. Might need to cut that out. <laughs> Don't forget where we are, man. Oh, that's true. Don't come arrest us. That shed some light on this beer. Yep. Uh, so this is a pretty, actually, this is a pretty sophisticated kind of flavor palette. Yeah, beer. it's very, very foo-foo. Well, that's okay. You can drink it like a troglodyte, no problem. 
Oh yeah, it, it actually it does like speaking of fufu, it does kind of taste like 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 a really fancy wine. What? A fancy bad wine, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, by by default, if, if it's a fancy wine, it's, it's supposed to be good. No, no, uh, I don't know. I, I, this is then this will scare you, but I I know even less about wine than I do about beer. So, if you're if you're into IPAs. This is definitely a beer. Yeah, I don't mind the edgy IPA flavor. It, it's weird. Edgy, edgy IPA flavor. Well, there's you nothing know. edgy about dirt and grass. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's part of the flavor profile, yes, because you know it kind of separates the men from the boys. <laughs> Throws it down. <laughs> well, now that battle lines have been drawn. <laughs> But seriously, we gotta find an IP that you'll actually drink or that you actually like. Oh, we got some coming up, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna finish it off. Because that's what I do. And there we go. Ah, ooh, yeah. Uh, See, good beer should make you feel like dancing. Okay, so Coupe de Grisou. I don't know what the hell Grisou means, and I'm sure some of you will enlighten us. Uh, I got to I gotta figure it's got to have something to do with mining and exploding rocks and miners who don't like listening to rocks explode. He prefers soft jazz. Kind of like Pat Damn Matheny. it, I was going to make that joke. <laughs> he wants Pat Metheny or Lyle Mace. I thought you were going to say Pat Benatar for some reason. Pat Benatar? She doesn't play jazz. I know, mate. Although she did do a blues album. Check it out. This video is sponsored by Pat Benatar. Well, no. I just like Pat Benatar, okay? <laughs> anyway, so this spicy buckwheat ale, I liked it. I really did. I thought it was. I thought it had a lot of interesting flavors. Well worth checking out. Did you like it? It was all right. Not bad. Uh, I, I would definitely Another recommend half-hearted it. recommendation from this guy. <laughs> I, am, I, I am not a cheap date, ladies. <laughs> That's it. You want a piece of this, you gotta pay the money. What's your favorite? Uh, I'm sure, man, you know, if we had a Patreon account, uh, account all the way it would be just throwing in the money. They want to they win a date with Zach. There's a promotional. You don't, you don't fucking know Twitter, but you know Patreon? Alright, so this... I like it. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up. Okay. This thumbs one, up for Coup de Gris, Grisou. And La Morsure from The Devil's Hole. I like it. He thumbs, does not. Thumbs down. But, oh, excuse me. Oh my god, I gotta kiss the birds. I drank that beer too fast. Um, he doesn't like it because it's inspired by American IPAs. And he's not a fan of IPAs. And so that, and you can taste that IP flavor in this, but don't let that scare you. It's a good beer. In my opinion. In his opinion, not so much. Not so much. Uh, I guess I should get in the habit of asking you to, you know, if you like the videos, tell your friends. If you don't like the videos, tell your enemies. And, you know, if you figure it's going to piss them off, man, go ahead. We don't care. You know, subscribe, hit buttons, whatever the buttons are there. The bell. The bell, the buttons. The I like don't know. There, there are buttons. Yeah, like it, so subscribe. We're, we are on Instagram and um, Twitter, the Tweety Bird. Okay, so next week we're going to be going, uh, we're going to be trying other videos. We're going to be going international Robot global, so we can offend a whole different group of people. More than we have been. Yeah. So until then, I'm Ed. This is Zach, and we're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. <laughs>